Gareth Maddock Jones here at a Democrats Abroad presidential election watch party in the Mile End of Montreal. Americans living in Montreal have made it a festive atmosphere as they watch the election results come in. I'm joined now by Catherine LaRose from Ohio. Thanks for joining us. How are you feeling now that you've seen some of the election results come in? Well, actually, I think it might be a, just a bit too early to feel anything until the uh, eight swing states come in. But I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to be amongst a crowd that is this enthusiastic and hopeful. This event goes until 2 a.m. this morning. Do you think you will find out who wins by then? I think we'll be close to finding out, but I think it might take a few more days to consolidate and confirm the win, uh, hopefully for um, President Harris. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump offer American voters two very different options. What are their biggest differences for you? For me, um, Kamala Harris uh, offers the road, the continuing road to democracy and Trump uh, to autocracy. And what are some of the most important election issues that Americans here in Montreal are concerned about? Um, I think Americans are concerned because we live outside of the country that we want to make sure that we maintain our, um, our basic rights of uh, freedom to uh, speak, uh, our, our right to vote, uh, and our right to uh, free and fair elections. And what's it like watching the election happen while you're here in Canada and while you see it on TV and not being there and sort of having this sort of outside perspective? Um, well, it's really nice to have this outside perspective because we get to see not only um, ourselves but um, our country through other eyes because we are outside of the U.S. And that gives us a, a different perspective. But again, um, we are, we're still um, Americans and uh, we still enjoy participating and being at these events together. And finally, what's it like being here with other Americans watching the election results? Um, it's fun. I'd rather be with this group of people than at home by myself because um, it's very heartening and there's a level of enthusiasm here and hopefulness and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll, uh, we're here till the end. Thank you for joining us, Catherine. That's all for tonight. Remember, City News is your news. If you have a story idea or a suggestion, we want to hear from you. Drop us a line at tips at montreal.citynews.ca or reach us on our social media platforms. You can get Montreal's news anytime on our website. Thanks for watching. Good night.